Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be giving you eight tips for powerful manifestations. So tip number one is to appreciate what you have now and what you would like more of. So for example, if you're wanting to manifest more money or a romantic relationship, then think about the money that you already have in your bank account, the money that you already have and feel appreciation for that, feel gratitude for that. In the same way with love, if you're wanting to manifest love, then think about all the loving connections that you already have in your life and feel really appreciative for these. So this is the first step, because what you're doing in this sense is that you're not manifesting from a place of lack. You're manifesting from a place of already having some of what you desire, but wanting more of it. Number two is to get clear on exactly what it is you want. Often we think we know what we want, but then actually we're not that clear on what it is that we do really desire. So get as clear on it as you can and perhaps visualize your manifestation in as much detail as possible and get really specific even to the finer details. Get really specific on what it is that you are wanting. Tip number three is to feel as though you already have it now. So again, if you're doing visualizations, then not only visualize it all in a lot of detail, but visualize and feel what that will be like. So really feel into once you have the money that you desire, the financial abundance, or once you have that loving connection, what will that be like? Feel into that abundance, that abundant mindset, feel into how good it will feel to have so much money in your life, so much money in your bank account, or to have that loving connection in your life. Really feel into exactly what it will be like, because from that place, you are already getting yourself into that frequency. You are aligning yourself on a vibrational frequency with what you desire. Number four is to align your thoughts and your beliefs with what you desire as well. If you're trying to manifest more money, but the thoughts that you have are, I never have enough, or they're fearful thoughts. And the same with your love life. If again, using that same example, if you are thinking about the fact that you're, romantic relationships never work out or that you've been really unlucky in love in the past then your thoughts and your beliefs are not aligned with what you're wanting so that's going to be a blocker in your manifestation because there's going to be an internal conflict between what you are wanting what you are desiring and trying to bring in and manifest and what you think you can have and what you think is available to you so align your thoughts and your beliefs with what it is that you desire to have and believe that it's true for you, believe that you are able to have those things, believe that you are deserving and worthy of having these things. Number five is to make the space for your manifestation to come to you. So this could be a little simple task such as, again, using the example of the finances, then having a tidy up of your finances, even if that's just clearing out your purse or your wallet of old receipts and old things that are in there, or if it's just getting more clear on your finances, perhaps creating a spreadsheet or um organizing that in a way so that you're able to bring in more and you're kind of showing the universe you're able to manage that and if it's the example of the romantic relationship then perhaps doing little things that you would do if you were in any relationship that could even be something as small as clearing out a drawer in, in your room getting an extra bedside table or sleeping on one side of the bed as if you were there already with your with your partner so make the space for your manifestation to come into your life so number six is to have faith and trust that it's already on its way to you. Have faith in your ability to manifest and the fact that you have sent those signals out. You are actively trying to bring this into your life and you're doing it from a place of alignment rather than a place of lack. Then just have faith and trust that it is coming to you. Really truly believe that it's coming to you because this is where a lot of people fall short in that they really want something but they don't really believe they can have it. So just have faith and trust in the process. And number seven is to surrender and release your attachment or any control that you may have around how this manifestation can come to you or when it can come to you. So just be open. Once you've planted those seeds, just release your control, release your attachment, because it's the same as if you've heard the analogy before of planting a seed and then constantly trying to dig up to see whether it's growing. And then obviously that's going to stop it from growing. So you just need to leave it alone to just have faith that it is it is coming and it will come to fruition in the right time in the right way and for the right reasons as well 
because there are many different factors that come into play in manifestation. There's other people's free will, there's certain situations may need to align first. You perhaps need to do some work on yourself to make sure that you are in the state of being able to receive what you want. So there are many different things that need to come into play as well. So just release control, surrender, and be open and receptive to receiving. And number eight, the final tip is to manifest this or better. So when you're thinking about your manifestation, when you're thinking about what it is you truly want and you truly desire, think about it as, I would like this or better, because sometimes the universe might be trying to deliver something even better for you. If you're trying to bring in a lump sum of money and actually there's something that's much a much bigger amount or an opportunity that can bring you constant money could be there for you instead. Or there could be a certain person you're trying to manifest and you realise actually they might not be the person for you there might be a better person who is more aligned who is a better match for you out there so again be open-minded make sure that you are in an open state to receive okay so those are the eight tips so i hope that those have been useful and helpful let me know how you get on with them and if you have any questions or anything and i look forward to seeing you again soon